And it's not best. Perfect. Recording. Why would they? Add you you want to make it shorter, right? Yeah, yeah, it's better. Like keep people more attention yeah. span and stuff. And exactly. then uh, when we do game of the year, that'll hopefully be thirty to forty minutes. We'll eliminate me and you. Will eliminate them quicker. Yeah, yeah, we got to do it quick. Yeah, but we'll do it on either next week or whatever, whenever you have time. I wonder what game it was that was canceled. Yeah, look it up. I'm gonna tell my son to come down so he can watch. Crucible. It I watch it. What was that? A MMO. Lord of the Rings MMO was canceled. What? Let me see. J.R.R. Tolkien's novel The Lord of the Rings was canceled because it had to factor its planned developer being purchased by Tencent. And now it's saying Amazon oh. is making a, a Lord of the Rings MMO again. They canceled, yeah, the first one and then redid it with a, with a new world team at Amazon. Oh, that would have yeah. been nice to mention. Oh, it's okay. You know what? Here, all, all Z... Save the well, these are fucking expensive headsets. Oh. All right, here we are. All right, I'm gonna get started. Welcome to DG Podcast. I'm here with Zarek Meister, and we're talking about the most anticipated games upcoming 2024 and possibly beyond. Uh, we're trying not to go into 2025, so if we heard something's coming out in 2025, we'll eliminate it. If we don't have a date and it might come out this year, we can still uh, choose it. So we're gonna narrow down this list, get to the top 10, and uh, go from there. Um, I do have uh, my picks, so my number one is Star Wars Outlaws, Silent Hill 2 Remake, and Snake Eater Remake. Uh, number one, Stunna, who's the community manager, picked Throne and Liberty, it's MMO, Ark Raiders, and Black Myth, Wukong. Zurich, do you want to pick yours now or after we go through the list? Do you already know your top three? I know a few of them. I know a few of them. I honestly okay. won't say I'm surprised this year, man. There's nothing really that big. Or that ambitious, you know, outside the Star Wars one. The Star Wars one you mentioned, the Outlaws looks insane. It reminds me of Knights of the Old Republic. Remember that? It was back in the day. Yeah. And Doesn't it feel, be... didn't you get that feel, that vibe of, 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 of it being like Star Wars uh, Knights of the Old Republic? I, uh, I don't really know. I just saw that it's open world and there's vehicles and you can drive around. But that was all like a uh, rendered cutscene. I didn't actually see. Oh, you didn't yet. see the actual get it, gameplay of it? No, no, not yet. Oh, man, you're missing out. Who's that? Some insane freaking, what do you call it? Cutscene yeah, in gameplay. I, I got to check out the gameplay. Then I'll anticipate it, it more. Looks it's already crazy. my number one. They were yeah. climbing around and sneaking. and like, like It was like Metal Gear style, too. It was kind of crazy. Yeah, normally. I was honestly surprised. You know me, normally I pick Snake Eater number one, but I played it so many times on PS2 that, let me move here, that um, I just put it three, and I'm more anticipating playing a horror game like Silent Hill 2. But yeah, there, I, see. I think there's a lot of games coming out, um, not as much as 2023, but there's a lot of good stuff, and mostly 2025, I think, with GTA 6, but... <laughs> Yeah, like you said, there's not that much. Did they already confirm 2020, uh, 2025 for GTA? Um, did, yeah. It's yeah. crazy. I heard everything about the game and watched everything except, uh, what do you call it? Know the release date. Let's see. Crazy. Oh, uh, between January and March 2025. Yeah, that's crazy. All right. I can't wait um, for that. So do you want to pick yours or do you want to eliminate? Yeah, I can, I can okay. pick them real quick. All right, what's your top three? I can pick them. One of my uh my first top three I uh it was kind of between uh Avowed and uh Black Myth. I'm, I've been following those games for a while, man. And I don't know if those are probably my top one and two. Oh, that's a Obsidian you know? game. Yeah, that thing looks yeah, it's yeah. like Skyrim. You know why that, that I was really school? uh kind of like uh, impressed by that game. It reminded me of Dark Messiah. You remember yeah. Dark Messiah oh, back in the days? Dark that Messiah? Game. Yeah. That game yep. was crazy. Remember the, the iron so fire too. and stuff? 
Huh? Yeah, the spells and the story, I actually... Yeah, yeah it was cool, man. It was, it was, you know, and the kicking, the way it reminds me exactly of that game. I can't wait to yeah. play something like that. It's been years before they, since they've had something like that, you know? Yeah, and you got to Kinda... make, like, decisions and all that. Exactly. That you know, the story in the, path. Exactly. You know, it brought uh, something uh, creative at the time, you know? It brought something really creative when there were shooters around everywhere, you know, when that game came out. It was impressive. And the physics, really, I hope they implement a lot of physics in there. Because I watched the way the physics videos are, you know, the game. And they really, like, they, I don't know if they tried to block it out or they didn't really show you the, the mechanics fully, you know, and full-on display. Yeah. But we'll see how that pans out. That's a remake they should make since they're making remakes nonstop. Exactly. Yeah. Anyways, uh, yeah. number two and number three. Okay. Number two. You said, uh, I already gave one and two, or... One, oh, two, three, what right? Was number two. Number two was uh, what do you call it? Uh, avow. It was avowed. Oh, Black I thought myth. that was one. Okay, we're on three now. Man, my third one was Black... uh, uh, vampires, the masquerade, bro. That game has oh, been in production wait, for like wait, wait. freaking. You confused me. Three. What's what's number one? What's your first? Number favorite? one it would be have to be between uh, what do you call it? It was Black Myth or Avowed. Which one? Uh, Which I one? just picked Black Myth. Black Myth okay. just looks like a bigger game, you know. All right, and then Avowed. And the graphics and then... just look insane for that game. That game's graphics are just ridiculous. I can't wait to see that game on full-on display. Yeah, same here. Um, the that... combat reminds me like kind of like a free flow, kind of like Batman. Remember how Batman was back in the days? What, the what combat is that? Is... What's Vampire? Vampire oh, is a game about... that's been production the RPG for more than like freaking like ten years. I remember reading this game about a in Game Inform back in like two thousand something. It's been in like freaking like uh. Like purgatory, literally for this long, and you know I'm kind of getting the vibe. Uh, no, no, oh. vampires masquerade, masquerade, two. It's called vampires, the bloodline masquerade. Oh, bloodlines two. Yep, that's it. Look what look what years in production since was, this game. Like, oh my god, it's been production for freaking more than like God knows, man. Remember when Game Informer was there? Who's like, oh, like look oh, at oh. that. You see that? Look at this. It got it was passed down to like two, three different companies. Usually games like that fail, bro. But, you know, I feel like uh, I'm getting kind of Valve vibes. Remember what happened with Valve and Half-Life 2 at the time? You know, but actually yeah. Half-Life 2 always looked ph uh, phenomenal, even in their initial trailer. I, suppose, right? I don't know. I just, I mean, I can't wait to see it, man. Literally. I remember it in like elementary. I can't remember. It wasn't elementary. No, it wasn't that long. That was the original uh, Vampires. But, bro, it's been so long since the original production. Yeah, I you know I thought this game came out because I heard about it so long ago. Yeah, no, bro. Like this game, oh my god, it was year after year after year they kept talking about it. Did they and have just any? Kept getting pushed back, and this happened, and that happened. It was ridiculous. And then it got oh. passed on to a different uh producer, and then these guys. So, what game reminded you of? Oh no, that was uh. That wasn't this game that reminds you of Dark Messiah, right? No, no, it was Avowed. It was Avowed. Oh, yeah, Avowed. They feel like they just have much more... You know, with, with a game like this, you can't put it in number one, honestly, because this game's just been in development for so long. You know that curse all these game companies have when they work on a game too long, they end up flopping? What the heck is going on there? Yeah, yeah, I know what you mean. Sorry, I'm getting distracted yeah. by this thing. You're really fine. Yeah, something's trippy about my computer today. Okay, oh, let's see, get through at, this oh, list. Um, so we can skip all the way actually to you said Tomb Raider, right? What's coming out? Was it? Oh, uh, the remake. Hell uh, Divers Two is already out, so um, we're uh, we're not at February fourteen yet, so this is coming out. So we're gonna go through the list quickly. We can eliminate games and then um. Let me just keep these as a reminder that they're safe games on the first wave, but we can eliminate them if we need to. Um, we'll use Stunner's vote for these games to keep or remove. But anyways, um, Tomb Raider... Arc Raiders. What's Arc Raiders? Is that the new uh, Indiana Jones? Uh, let's see. I don't game? think so. It's probably an MMO or something. Oh, I see. 
I saw this trailer of this a long time ago. What is it? Um, yeah, it looks good. Arc Raiders looks good. Survival, though. I'm not a big fan. Especially if it's in, like an extraction survival. I don't know what this game is. But, I didn't even hear yeah, about it. That's his uh, number two anticipated. Oh, the free to play third person PvP. PvP uh, E. Yeah. Extraction shooter. I don't know. Bro. Okay, let, let's get it going with this list because it's pretty long. Okay, so do you want to remove uh, Tomb Raider 1 through 3 remaster? I say remove it because it's just a remaster and it's not even a remake. Yeah, yeah, get it's it out of here. It's definitely not a top 10. Get it out of there. Yeah, just just tell me, get rid of it or keep it. Can you read these names clearly when you're watching my screen? Bro. Oh, that's like a fucking anime game. Get that shit out of here, bro. <laughs> Alright. It looks like Sailor Moon, bro. Remember Sailor Moon back in the day? Yeah. Just say get rid of it, and then if I disagree, I'll tell you keep it just for one more uh, round. But here we go. Play up. These guys got indie games on here, who's bro? Uh, so what I did, I took GameSpot's list of upcoming games, and I put them on there. So don't look them all up. If you haven't heard of it, just say get rid of it. Cause it's yeah, get it rid of it. Get rid of that shit. Ten. I'm going to keep Mario Kong vs. DK because that looks pretty good. Skull and Bones. Skull and Bones, I don't know, man. I, I think we should just keep it on because it's it so anticipated. Bro. It's been, everybody's got eyes on this game because it's been production so long. I remember when we saw this, we actually played this at E3. Remember yeah. when we played this at E3 and saw the original trailer? How we were like, oh, we're kind of amazed by it at the time before everybody yeah. started uh, losing their shit about it and the company started... Uh, Running away from it, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> so, didn't want to work on this project. Yeah, I signed the NDA about talking about when I played it, so I won't talk about that. But what I will say, based on the trailers they showed, I like the yeah. old trailer look where it looked more like Black Flag than it looks. Yeah, than what it you're looks right. Like now. You're right. No, but, it looks like like that game, but but made by Xbox. Uh, what's that game called? That pirate game? Um. Oh, Sea of Thieves. That's actually really sea good. Of it got it's so much better now, and I even like the yeah. first launch. So it's just a plus with the new expansions. Yeah, but I played it kind of. Anyways, let's go through this quick. Furnish Master. Okay, I'm just gonna start removing, and you tell me if uh, I should wait. Okay. Furnish Master, Quamp, get rid of that. The Lost Legends of Redwood. What's the Lost Legends? Is this that that game, The Lost Legends? I don't know, um, but yeah, I'll, I'll pull it up on the screen. No, if, it's if a little you're... mouse game, bro. It's a little like, clicking mouse game. Who's... All right. Get it out of here. I haven't even heard of this Ch shit. Tell me these to look up if you really want to see. Majority of these are all indie games. Warhammer, I think we can keep it. To... Warhammer, uh... I played that. Man, that game is ridiculous, but it's like hordes. You just run around and do the same crap. The, the, the graphics look good, but... I'm telling you, these are all indie games, the majority of this stuff was... Okay, if you have a problem, just tell me stop and don't remove. Myth of Empires and get it right of Slave Zero? What's Slave Zero? You know, I'm just going to keep Mozilla Oh open my god, another don't... indie game. Get it out of here, man. Oh, okay, you're going to... A 1999 action game. I mean, indie games aren't bad, but... Terminator Dark Fate? Are these guys serious right now, bro? <laughs> Uh, I'm curious. But this is the embarrassment. This is a disgrace. This is fucking disrespectful. Oh, what the heck? This is based on the movie? Play game. Defiance. Look at it. Yeah, this is the one that's uh, it's like a strategy. Oh, okay. Why Why would they risk making a game like that? That. Yeah, Who's? Like... That's the only game they, a Terminator game they haven't <laughs> fucked up yet. You know what I'm saying? They tried every single one, <laughs> first person, third person, <laughs> fucking, you know what I'm saying? They tried everything, everything. They had fucking Tetris, was that fucking pinball Terminator, remember? <laughs> That's they had pinball Terminator, fail to, it was ridiculous, bro. These guys don't give up. Yeah. You know, it's gonna be like, like Batman, remember Batman back in the day? How it took them that long to make one of the greatest Batmans, and then when they finally did make a Batman, it was, it was the greatest fucking, it. it's unbeatable. Name me a yep. game that can be, be able to beat Batman. The, the Arkham franchise is the best. You're right. You know what I'm saying? You cannot tell me there's any other game that... Bro, that game, I fell in love with that game. Was, I beat that game like fucking like 40 times. 
literally. I literally went crazy after I beat Arkham Knight. Like, see the tank and how the combat is. Bro, you're playing a whole different fucking game. You're playing. You, you got all the achievements. Also. Yeah, bro. It's a fucking insane and the craziness. Who's. I was like, Riddler bro. I was challenges. Like, Fuck. You know what I told something? myself? I was like, bro, they're not gonna come out with no Batman fucking 4. There's no way you can beat this shit. How are you gonna make a game better than this? That's true. You know what I'm um, saying? Even, even the Spider-Man franchise, I know they get good reviews. Nothing like the Batman combat. Oh, Arkham fuck no. Man, that combat is just flawless. How you fly in the city, you can move anywhere you want. Bro, it's just ridiculous. Too Who's they, they made a combat system that every game wanted them to copy them for. Remember the free yeah. flow fighting system? Boom, 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 boom. It was exactly like a Batman would fight too. You know what I'm saying? I, look, I agree with you, but let's get through this list and then yeah, maybe yeah, and at the yeah, conclusion. Because yeah, <laughs> we can go all night here. It, it won't I know, well, huh? Yeah. All right, corpor corpo. No, get rid of it. Get rid of it. Bro, this is like, remember those games back in the days with who wants to be a millionaire? The one you buy from Target comes in his <laughs> TV. <laughs> Corpo Nation, are you fucking serious, bro? Shiren the Waner, get rid of that. Wrath Eon of Ruins, get rid of that. Dark Forces Remastered, what? Was this a strategy uh, game? Look, I keep closing freaking Mozilla. What's it called? Yeah, it looks like a 95 game. Well, get it out of here. What's <laughs> what, what, this? Lois, this is fucking... Yo, look, get the fuck out of here. Fuck okay. Final Fantasy. It's not even Final Fantasy. No, I no, saw that shit. I know Play it not... now. Rebirth. Oh, okay, yeah. Let me go so, over. I, I know you're not a fan, but I gotta keep it. Because uh, I did play 7. It was a good remake. Uh, heck. You're gonna make everybody pissed off. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's not It's oh, not um, turn-based oh, anymore, me. which a lot of fans are Did you end up beating who's? Did you end up beating any of them? Yeah, yeah. I beat the, the first part. How do you have the patience, bro? <laughs> It was good. Like, think of Kingdom Hearts. That's how yeah. this one but is. But you can't move anywhere. You gotta just stand no, there. No, no, you move. It's I'm just joking. Yeah, yeah, you're thinking of the old one turn-based. But yeah, a lot of fans, you know, were disappointed about it. But yeah, we gotta keep I just it. can't get into their fucking story, bro. The Chinese drama. Oh, he, he fell. We have to go save him. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> it has to be something realistic, bro. I can't look at these uh, bullshit goals. They have to go to the clouds and grab <laughs> fucking... You know what I'm saying? Yeah, but <laughs> that's not the story. But I, I don't. I, I get it. I get it. You're you're not into the universe. You're not into the games. You know okay. what I'm saying? Most of the games, like even back in the days, but I could never just. Oh, the only character that For... looked some cool was Cloud because they tried to make him like Metal Gear style, bro. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, but that's why I like playing these remakes because now I can understand it and uh, see what the fuss was all about back then with now remade storylines. I don't know. We'll see. It's not the complete story. So they split up seven, and this is like episode mm -hmm. two, basically, because they extended it much longer, and it's kind of an alternative timeline. Oh, yeah. Well, that's a spoiler now. But who cares? Anyways, let's move on. Uh, Welcome to pa Paradise. I don't know what that is. Get means. rid of that. It's like a zombie game, like a weird zombie game. Okay, we're in March now. Life by you. Get rid of it. This is already out, so I'm getting rid of it. I don't know if it was in early yeah. access and now it's launching. Maybe that's why, but... um, You know, it's probably a great game, but I'm not anticipating it. It's already out. Outlast, the one where you're running away from shit, something like that. Yeah, it's online, but again, it's in early access. You can play it now. That's why I'm not anticipating it. Hex Gambit? Nah. Taxi Life for Sorry, just shattering the home world now. Sounds familiar, but I'm not a fan. Home world is a strategy. Do you like it? You want to keep it? For no, the no, no, no. You get rid of that WWE hell no. Uh, I'm gonna keep it. I really like the keep. two two K two three twenty three was really good actually. I really liked it. Um, this one's about WrestleMania. We'll see if the mm -hmm. game turns out, but they did really fix it. It's much better. I can't wait for Alone in the Dark. I saw how Alone in the Dark is looking. That game is looking good. Okay, I gotta keep this as a prequel to... Oh, wait. I thought it was Outlast. No, no. It's called Outcast. Okay. So, it looks like a sequel. Um, Number one stunner told me about it. He said it's a good game. 
I'll let it survive for this one if you're cool with that. It looks all right. It's on all console games, so it's a big title. So yeah, it looks reasonable. Yeah. Alone in the dark, I can't wait for that. Yeah, same. Dragon's Dogma, I'm keeping. Princess Peach, showtime. <laughs> it might Ridiculous. be fun, but I, I'm I'm cool with removing. Do you object to that? I don't know. Do you want to see it? Huh? Do you want nah, to see it? Not really. It's a Switch game. I already know what to yeah. expect. Okay, Rise of Rise Ronin. Rise of the Ronin looks, looks really good. I remember yep. seeing it a week or two ago, bro. That game looks insane. Yeah, I've never heard of this. You got to keep South Park. Europa sounds familiar. Uh, I don't know. I think it's a strategy. Let's see. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, I did check this game out. Yeah, I'm not interested. We're in April now, by the way. Meh. Huh? All oh, games are coming in April? Yeah, we're in April. Oh, that's it. <laughs> we're in May I now. can't wait for Sunwell Saga Hellblade 2. That game looks insane. Oh, I forgot all about this. I might yeah, have to change my list. Insane. I can't wait for that. Yeah. All right. Even though I'm probably not getting this till near the end of the year or mid year summer, I'm keeping it. I'm not anticipating it though. Never dark. What is that? No, no. It's like a weird strategy game. Okay. So July it's and August. The third party. We said we're keeping Black Myth. We're in September now. This I can't is... wait to stalk it too, bro. It, it skipped some months because they're not sure when everything's coming out. I agree though. Stalker 2, yeah, I like part 1. Um, Keeping Warhammer. And that will probably go on wave 2 for me. To be announced. We're at to be announced. Okay, I'm just going to start going quick with this. If you spot something, just tell me to stop. I don't know, bro. I will look at Stalker. The graphics aren't too good, man. I, I don't know, bro. What? Really? Yeah, yeah, the graphics look outdated a lot. It, I think they're using the old engine, that's why. I don't know, it looks good to me. I don't know. I have to see how it plays. Yeah, what, they do have trailers for it, we'll check it out after. You know, I I miss games like back in the days, it was like, like fucking uh, Fear, remember Fear? How the physics, oh, yeah. everything is in, in, in combat was I involved like... with physics. I be all remember. I be yeah. I loved fear. Remember fear? How crazy it was the first one. The physics, the slow motion. You could bro online had slow motion, bro. Remember that shit? That game's engine was just insane. Remember how crazy their water was? Yeah. Is this strategy? The heck is this? PVE. Oh, I'm not interested. I do remember. Um, you're still watching this, right? Yeah, yeah, of course. Damn, what the hell is this? Look how much games. Is this every goddamn game that's coming on in the next 10 years? Who's, what the fuck is this? Yeah, we're almost there. This is crazy. Yeah, but I kept Ark. I could never get into that game, Ark, bro. I can't either. Honestly, I don't have a problem removing it. Because I'm not anticipating it. But I know it's a really popular game. You want me to get rid of it now? Yeah. Let's get rid of Avowed. I'm joking. What are these games? Keeping this, it's a highly anticipated anime uh, MMO. Oh shit, Broken Sword, remember this? They still make these? Oh, they're cartoony now. And it says mobile. Uh -huh. Remember Broken Sword? Yeah, I remember that game, the clicking game. <laughs> you want me to go quicker? Mm hmm. Alright, here we go. Chrono Odyssey. Yeah, I know it's popular, but not into it. Skylines. I think El El if Ali. 
L was on here right now. He'd he'd yell at me for deleting it. Even Contra. Like that. What is it? Like that, huh? Yeah, dark and darker number one likes, but that's mobile. That's stranding iOS. <laughs> Earth Defense, popular strategy game, I think. EA. If you see something, just tell me. Don't delete it. I'm going quicker. Oh, there's fear. Fear? But not the fear. Fear underground. It's not that. That's not it. That's some random bullshit. But what? What kind of fear? Uh, you're it's right. a survival game, this game. It's like a clicking game with side scrolling. Yeah, all right. Final Fantasy fourteen MMO. We're not MMO fans. Of, I mean, I have an account, but I'm not anticipating an expansion. GI so Joe. What's GI yeah, Joe? Joe what? That, oh, it looks like it's a uh, retro. This might actually be good in co-op. But there's no hype. Greedfall. Oh, it's cell shaded. Who's you serious, bro? Yeah, Great Greedfall Two is uh is known to be a good game, and so is Hades. We'll let it survive the first. Oh, I don't know what happened to the gaming industry. Who's Horizon? I didn't even beat this game. You know, I was just I was very disappointed. It's boring with as fuck, huh? Yeah, <laughs> you called it. <laughs> How did you know? You think I don't know who's I can look at a game and know what what's up with it, bro? It's a popular game, but man, I like I I platinum the first game. I just it was so boring how it started. Like I guess I gotta get back into it and try to finish it. John Carpenter is Commando, bro. This is game that good? Looks, I don't know. The trailer is like red band. Like there's something horrible in it. Like you're not allowed to see or something. What should the I, hell? Should I bring it back or no? Let me see. I remember watching this. Yeah, what the hell, this game? It's like a zombie game with driving. Yep, the but it's a like killing too. wave, that's all. It looks good, oh. though. I remember seeing this trailer a long time ago. How old is this trailer, bro? Oh, damn. Wow. I remember seeing this a long time ago. We have to see how it looks, yeah, bro, but I'll I won't lie it. to you, man. I'm sick and tired of these, uh, these fucking dead island. You know what I'm saying? This yeah. island. That, bro, you can't even tell the difference between these games, bro. <laughs> you know the similar, game where you yeah. do parkour with zombies? Like, come on, bro. Like, what are you serious now? Um, your brother had... Dead, dead something? Uh, is it called island. Deadfall? What the no. fuck is it called, bro? I can't remember. Shit, I don't know why it's not coming to me, too. It just won't hit me, bro. When all these companies start copying each other and doing the same shit, it makes you just lose interest in everything. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So I'm remember the variety this... back in the days, bro. They had like, like, like God of War, then Metal Gear Solid, then they had, you know, some other first-person shooter that was completely different. But when they start copying each other, trying to make money off each other, it ruins everything. Dying Light. Here it is. Dying Light. That's what it's called. Yeah. State of DK. Your brother loved Left it. Dead. Oh he... fucking! What's that game called, though? Like, hello, Andini, I'm telling you, bro. These games are ridiculous. I'm going through. Mannequin. What the hell is mannequin? Man, mannequin. Uh, it sounds like a like a freaking what do you call it? Who's like a Mech Warrior? Third party. Metal Gear Solid. We Delta, finally huh? got there. Are you gonna play that? When it's uh, yeah, yeah, hell yeah, for sure, hell yeah. It'll bring back some memories, bro. What is the that? Game was sick. Monolith, it? Uh, it sounds familiar. I remember an old game. Oh, I'm thinking it's the company. Oh, this is a, you're right, this is a lot of games that I've never even heard of. But it's indie games. These are all indie games, too. This is including indie games, which I think is just ridiculous. Rise of the Ronin is good. Didn't we see that already? Yeah. Bro, this guy's got Game Boy Color games in here, too, bro. Come on, dude. Hey. What's going on? 
they 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 repeated uh some of the I know Rugrats <laughs> Allah Sam and Matt These are all indie games so I'm telling you bro these are like side scroller cell shaded shit delete no, everything no. what's silent delete man? everything we we're, we're almost there silent huh what's silent no Indie. Yeah, I like, see some of these games don't even pop up because uh, what do you call it? They're not too known. The okay, game I'm, I'm gonna go night. a lot quicker. Damn, this is GameSpot. I don't know. I guess they just went and looked at all the Steam indie games that are coming out. What is this? To Get start? rid of all this. I saw something. It's Splatoon three and. Who's, what happened to part one and fucking two, bro? <laughs> yeah, yeah, you know what? I know a lot of people like These it. These games are all indie games. This no, no, Splatoon indie is uh, Every popular. five days, you know what I'm saying? The two days before the end of 2024, a game that we never heard about comes out, and it's a, you know what I'm saying? It's a hit, but none of these have really depth to them, bro. I, that's what I realized Almost about these removed, kind of games. Yes. These indie games, you play these games little by little. It's just to kill time, really. It's not made for anything, you know what I'm saying? I mean, you can say that about any game, though. Not really, bro. Most games have depth to their story. You know what I'm saying? You have fun. You, you know, you want to find out what's going on. You don't want to just sit here and fucking mindlessly click for fucking... <laughs> you know what I'm saying? For 158 hours. Man, like, but... look at Starfield, how badass. Like, you know, in the beginning, it's just about morals. A lot of this, people didn't that. like Starfield, though. They were very disappointed. Because two people, people are dumb as fuck, bro. Starfield's a very complicated <laughs> game. Who's, you know what I'm saying? Bro, you see how complicated that game is? You have to go learn how to change the fucking fuel tank on your fucking spaceship. Are you serious? Who's telling these motherfuckers to hook game. up a DVR to the TV? You know what I'm saying? These motherfuckers are going to call you, blow your... I did uh -huh. enjoy I did enjoy Starfield, so Bro, I'm, Starfield I'm not one of the haters. Starfield is a fun game. Who's you know even though, even though you don't play it for a while, you just hop on. But it's a fun game too. Obviously, you, there's a lot of repeated uh, planets and shit. It's but imagine the, the developers track. making that fucking game. Who's every have to make that many planets, that many worlds? I'm thinking in my head, I was like, bro, that's fucking insane. <laughs> yeah, it's a fast travel that turned people off. Bro, you get lost. You don't even know where the fuck you're going sometimes. You have to fucking sit there and Google, where the fuck is this place? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> it's badass. It's a sick-ass game. They search if you have contraband on your fucking ship. It reminds me of, uh, of, of uh, remember Oblivion Who's When you steal an apple? Remember Jad's description one time in McLean's class? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, with Oblivion <laughs> yelling the soldiers. Hi. Yeah, who? Hand it back. They have fucking dragons <laughs> flying from the bomb. You don't even see no Yeah. Bro. All right, we're 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 at the last twenty nine thirty ish. Okay. I, I think you're just... lagging. Okay, so let's let's start going here. Um, did you see this game yet? Mario and Don. Well, I didn't. Who's? I don't look at Switch games. Who's? Well, I don't. I look at them as handheld. I think of them as a handheld game. Yeah, but um. It looks good. I don't know. Um, shit. Well, I don't even know. They don't even have a picture of it on Google. <laughs> <laughs> what is going on? <laughs> but yeah, that's this game that's doesn't fucking exist, bro. All right, do you want to get rid of it or keep it as a? Top this shows you how irrelevant Japanese games are. Well, those... no, no, Japan man. is this like is a gonna cult. Sell. People are have been waiting for this game. For I know long. people are waiting for this, but in fucking Japan, bro, I don't know who the fuck's playing this year other than Ali Edge I and mean, his brothers, bro. <laughs> I would, I would play it honestly, but do you, if you want to get it, rid of even it? Even after it, all these not... years, the Azumi still love, bro. I always used to think it was a front. You know what I'm saying? I used no, to think... no, man. Yeah, they're remember back Nintendo in the fan. days. I was just like, bro, there's no way these niggas really are fucking playing this shit right now, Mister Game and Watch. Come on, bro. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? These motherfuckers. Ali Azumi used to love Pikmin back in the days. Yeah, he. I mean, he still likes Pikmin. Pikmin's a good game. Good it is, it is, bro, but just the way they play those games is, oh my, bro, they're pointless. There's no story. There's nothing, bro. Yeah, it's just for fun. Um, So you want to get rid of it? You want to vote this out? Not a top 10? Look, why? Look at that shit. Or is there shittier stuff I didn't stuff even know it was here? even coming out, bro. Okay, so let's keep it 50-50. One more wave survival. 
or get rid of it. That's call you call it. I'm gonna I'm gonna give it for you to call. Donkey Kong. I don't know, bro. I I honestly haven't been. It's not a top ten. I don't think it's a top ten. All right, Skull and Bones. Survive on. I Island. honestly, and overall, I don't think it's a top ten, but uh. You know, we'll keep it up there, man. It's been a very anticipated game. People have been watching this game for a very That's long time. A lot of people have been disappointed. A lot of people have been happy. So, you know, in reality, it's not even really about the game. I just want to see if the final product, see if it delivers. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And, you know, it was, it was at the last time they ever had an E3 ever again, too. All right. I mean, yeah, you can anticipate it. You haven't played it. I understand. Um, Warhammer... I really just want to see if it delivers or not. Warhammer, I honestly won't. I played the last one. I really wasn't impressed, man. I just loved that game. Is this? Oh, this is the strategy one. Okay, I really like it. It's it's a good strategy game, but I'm not anticipating it or anything. Um, yeah, I didn't even know what comes out in the next few days, bro. I I want to keep this. I'm gonna definitely play it. Okay. Same thing. Get with WWE out of here, unless for you, bro. Let's let it survive till till the big competitors come, and then we'll see if we'll okay. get rid of it. Most likely, we we will. Okay. okay. The new beginning. It looks good. It looks fairly good. Keep it. I honestly okay. want to see that. All right. Now Alone that I saw videos, or I saw what do you call it? Alone in the dark. I mean, I, I cannot wait it. for that game. Yeah. I'll the last. It. Remember the last. Uh, uh, the last uh, Alone in the Dark. Who's how bad as that game was, bro? With the physics and stuff, oh, but they yeah. had too many it glitches. So good, but remember, I we it. just I drove still... under the world with a car, and then, whoa, oh, okay, whoa, we beat it. The hardest part. Remember, you kept telling me, bro, I couldn't beat this. It was so hard. This is... And then we glitch oh. on the first try and beat it. <laughs> it was. But that game the... was fun, bro. Like, the way you kill, you kill the monsters and stuff it was just really fun, bro. Can't yeah. wait to see what they uh, brought this time. It was one of the worst glitchy games that was good. <laughs> that to play, yeah, or bro, fun like, to yeah, play. I'm surprised. I mean. Nowadays, look. His leg falls off, and then they, they just, bro, they just torch the whole game. You know what yeah. I'm saying? That uh -huh. game was surprisingly good. Have you heard of Rise Dragon's... Rise of Running looks really good. I don't know why that game reminds me of, uh, what do you call it? Ghost of Tashima. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it definitely. It could be a knockoff. It could be also a, a knockoff. You know what I'm saying? But we'll give have it a shot. Have you played part one of this? This is like a... No, I have not. I have not. Dark Souls. It's a strategy game, isn't it? But a lot easier. No, it's uh, RPG. Or uh, RPG. Yeah. yeah, I'm sorry, it's RPG. It reminds me of Dragon that's Age. That's what it reminded me of, Dragon's Dogma. No, no, but it's, uh, it's, the combat's like, um, ha not hack and slash, but it's free flow combat, um, like Dark Souls, but not as difficult. But again, I don't know about part two. I think it should stay for now. South Park, um, I like South Park, but I'm not anticipating it, unless you yeah, want to keep not it. Not really, bro. They should crude humor doesn't make us uh, laugh anymore. Yeah, bro. we should keep that. Destiny, I want to get rid of it. What do you say? Destiny, I don't like it. Man. I haven't even played Destiny. Was honestly, yeah, I was the only person who did not play Destiny. It's a great game. It's just they're overdoing it. Uh, Black Myth will keep Stalker. Do you want to keep it or is is it not a top ten? Which one? Stalker two. Bro, I don't know. I it, I do want to play it. It honestly, bro, you know what game really remind me of Stalker? It was the game Atomic Heart. The way Atomic Heart was, it was a really good game. Did you beat it? Ah, uh, yeah, I did. I really enjoyed it. So did you like it? it? Wasn't a fun ass game. It, it was, was a really, really good, good game. game. Oh yeah, it and reminds... it reminds me of Stalker. I don't know why that game always reminded me of Stalker. Well, well, for me, it reminded me of even like... Stalker reminds me of Metro Twenty Thirty Three. Remember that game Twenty Thirty Three, whatever it's called. Yeah, Stalker is more like Metro. I uh Metro. But, um, no, uh, Atomic Heart reminded me more of, like, a Half-Life type of game. It's weird. No, oh, world. I agree. You're right, you're right, I agree. But, see, that's what used to give me the vibes for Stalker. Remember originally the first Stalker? It was around the Half-Life uh, era, you know what I'm saying? That, it kind of leaked into that there. That is true, it was around that time. You know? And that's what always made me interested and kind of linked them together. That's why I feel the same about Atomic Heart, too, you know? Yeah. Do you like this game? It's like Gears, but... No, no, Space Marine, no, no, I cannot stand this game. Keeping Avowed, um, Blue Protocol... Blue Protocol, get rid of yeah. that, it's an enemy game. I know, Joel, Joel really Grief likes Ball, it. get rid of that, it's garbage. Willing to play it. Greedfall, it's a RPG, like, isn't it like Assassin's Creed or something? No, no, hell no, 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 it's a horrible game. Part 1, um, Noel liked it, he was telling me it's good, I haven't played it yet. 
Hades 2 is a really popular game. I, you know, I still didn't beat the first one, but I did play it. Do you want to Well, I don't it? even know what Hades is, but we'll get rid of it. People are going to hate you, man. <laughs> Why? listening is one of the most popular games, but, um... Bro, who's, I'm telling you, me, before they got into the whole Steam, playing all these, uh, indie games, all these random garbage indie games, you know what I'm saying? I just couldn't do that, bro. I so, saw that, I already saw it's a It's a roguelike game, and it's made by Epic Games. But uh, yeah, you. I Epic Games. Stop. So Epic Games stopped making big IPs, huh? They only make garbage like like that, huh? No, they still like I small mean, games. For, Fortnite is the big IP, I guess. Fortnite is like the big IP. It's like being the fucking shit smooth, bro. I don't know, man. Even Taxa Commando. Uh, it's been a long time. That game, I know, for a long time has been in the making, but I I don't like it, man. I think we should remove it. It's kind of like uh. Like like uh, Angry Sam. Remember Angry Sam back in the days? Uh, well, not it wasn't called Angry Sam. It was called I know what you're talking about though. Yeah, something Sam. Set, oh shit! It was a it was a fun game though. I liked it. Damn, what was the name of that? It's oh man, it dangerous. Was one of those... that was it, what is it called? I oh. can't remember. Let's see if we find it. Serious Sam. There it Serious is. Sam. That's what it was. It reminds me of Serious Sam. You know? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. For Remember sure. this game? It was um, like a Doom knockoff. No, no. Killing Floor is an amazing game. Part one, I played it like crazy. I remember, you remember that game, Serious Sam, back in the days, bro? It's from oh, 2001. It's literally from 2001. Isn't that insane? Yeah, but three was newer. Yeah, but look who's over the years, Serious Sam won. Serious Sam 2, Serious Sam 3, like, yeah. come on, bro. Like, you it know, when they had a million other games just like that game back in the days where you're just mindless shooting everything. You know what that, I'm saying? That's true. And there's no story, nothing. You're just uh, ding, 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 just going level 1, 2, 3. You remember back in the days, it was like Quake. It reminded me of Quake. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, they're cult shooters. That's why they don't make games like that anymore. When was the last Quake? Wait, Quake 4, right? Um... No, no, Man, it wasn't that long. One, Quake no. 4 was the last one. It, it was, was released four. in 2005, then the genre died. Yeah. I mean, there might be <laughs> dedicated fans that still play it on, like, some Discord server. But I don't know. I, I haven't played it. Anyways, I want to keep this one. I don't know if you've Go played ahead. Killing Floor. But it's Killing a really Floor fun is just game. like that game with the shooter, right? It's a wave based shooter, but you, you fight this boss at the end. During holidays, they bring up, like, the Santa boss and. It's a really fun game. Part 1 I played many hours. 2 not as much, but it was a, a good upgrade. So I'm looking Was there a story three. in it? Um in game not really. We we can eliminate it next if there's things that are better. Metal Gear keep, I'd say, but I feel remember free, killing feel free floor. you played killing floor 2 and 1. I remember you a long time ago. I played 1 playing. like crazy. Yeah. It's like a um, horde mode kind of game, huh? Uh, yeah. Yeah, it's, it's one of the waves. Funnest, I can never get into those games, man. I don't know why, bro. We did with Gears. If you remember, Gears 2 was one of the first ones you played for hours, me and you. Nah, and, but, uh, man, I don't know, man. Who was that friend you had on there? Manimal or something? Yeah, remember Manimal, bro? Remember one guy we played the freaking six games that didn't get a kill, and one guy got a kill. I was like, that's apocalyptic, man. Do you remember? <laughs> that guy was hilarious, bro. He, he just disappeared. Good, good, good. Three sixty days back then. Okay, well, we're we're almost there. Splatoon three, we can get rid of it now. Oh, this is only DLC. It's not even Splatoon three's been out. What am I saying? All right, uh, turtles. Get rid of it. Test drive unlimited. I didn't even know they're making another one. What they forgot yeah. that they made one twenty years ago. They're making a new one, Yanni. <laughs> right. You know what I'm saying? Oh, we can reuse that name. Who's they didn't even change the the the, the name? Isn't just that a... crazy? It came out like in '06, the last one we played. I think there might have been an updated one, but that's crazy. They're using that name again. Do you want to get rid of it? Get rid of it. Get rid of it. I mean, I'm not anticipating it, but I'm curious. All right, vampire, you kept okay. How, what are we at here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Don't eight, tell me you're keeping World of Warcraft 11, Warrior 12, within 13, whatever it's 14, called. 14, 15, 16, 17. We got 17. Um, I'm not really anticipating it. 
So I'm not anticipating any of that shit. Yeah, we can get rid of it. I mean, I'm a big WoW fan. It's uh, my favorite franchise now, but I'm not really anticipating it. I know what to expect. That's why. Okay, we're at 16. So let's go back up. Or with what you can see here, what do you want to get rid of? I'd, uh, say, I'd say the weakest links for me are Outcast and Killing Floor. Killing Floor, probably, yeah. Yeah, get rid of them. What is it, top 15 now? Let me, let me, should I start numbering? We gotta remove four more of those. Uh, You're right. Okay, WWE is an easy one to remove, I'd say. Mm-hmm. Or what do you what do you vote? Get get rid of WWE. Bro. All right, we're at thirteen. I like this list so far. This is a good I looking do. list. Um, it is. It's not a bad list, bro. It's just bro. <laughs> I I would say probably. Shit, I don't know. These are really good games. The weakest one. For me, it's Skull and Bones. That's but what do you think? What do you say? I agree, but you know, it's just uh, it's up to you, really. If you think it, no, uh, if Skull and Bones, if I won't lie. I told you, I really wasn't involved in in Skull and Bones too yeah, much. If, if I, really, I really thought this game came out and flopped a long time ago, bro. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Well, be honest with you. you know what I can say. I I know what to expect from this game. If you want to get rid Which of that, one? Final Fantasy. What do you expect from it? Uh, we're gonna disappoint any viewers, but. I know what to expect. I know what type of game it is. Like, I'm not really anticipating it. I do, don't know. Do bro. you want to keep it or get rid of it? Uh, I don't know. Well, man, it's... Final Fantasy, I won't lie, man. I'm not really involved in Final Fantasy. I really never was, never will okay. be, bro. Yeah, yeah, I just we'll... could never get into the story of that, man. Okay, so we'll get rid of it, and the reason I am, it's not that it's a bad game. It's a good game, we know that. Um, It's just that I know what to expect. No, I know what you mean. I know exactly what you mean. I know what to expect gameplay-wise. And I uh, feel it. Yeah, so what are we at now? I save just in case anything crashes. Okay, we're at 12. What do you want to get rid of? I've been Man. calling out names, so you call out or er, games, name <laughs> game. I won't lie, was, I know I don't know how you are about remakes, bro. Me personally, man, as much as I want to play those games, I just want to try something new, bro. So what are you calling? You know out? what I'm saying? What are you calling? I want to call out this more. Um, uh, silent, man, I don't know, man. It's a tough, it's a tough choice at this point, to be honest with you. Look, I already picked my list, so we can agree on stuff that is new. If you want to get rid of remakes, I have no problem with that. I am highly anticipating those, but if you want it to be a top 10 list... I don't want to sit on your list, too. No, no, the same my list. This is the official DG list. That's why we're, we're picking it, and then we also have... Oh, did we get rid of Throne and Liberty? <laughs> Number one's going to be... Hey, he, didn't, he wasn't able to get on. Get this game so, wrote, thrown in liberty out of here, bro. It sounds like freaking like America. Trump, Trump no, no. supporter kind of. I'm just joking. <laughs> it's, it's I a, saw it already. I'm just messing with you. It just sounds yeah. fucking mega. It sounds like it's fucking mega written all over it, bro. All right, so fucking you want to get rid of the remakes? Yeah. Let's get rid of the remix. Everything else here is something brand new and fresh. Bro. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? That, that's where I'm going back to. That's why I, that's exactly. I would agree. If we're agree. looking for our favorite game ever, it would be a different list. Bro. But those yeah. games are really interesting we know and diverse. To, we know bro, what we to expect. You know, it's, oh, it's no surprise they just came out with the Metal Gear and Silent Hill. Every other goddamn game came out with a remake. Resident Evil 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Bro, what the fuck? Come on, are you serious? You're, they you're remade. absolutely right. They remade Khaled Abu Asim and the Daya for fucking PlayStation 5, bro. You know what I'm saying? They made literally everything. It's ridiculous. Yeah, a lot of viewers are going to It's obviously it's a weak era in video games, bro. It's really a weak era, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, Zurich, a lot and of I really viewers think, huh? aren't going to understand that their picture speaking. <laughs> but it's all they're going to think they're what? They're not going to know what you're talking about with that. I know they're not. Speaking. Well, I all know right, they're not, all bro. Right. Uh, anyways. We're down to 10, so we'll start with 10. I guess we can go in order. Um, 
I would say I would vote for this to be number 10, but if you look at this list and you find something worse, let me know. All right. To me, that's my worst pick out of those all. Which, Skull and Bones? Yeah. Okay. Or sorry, the least I'm anticipating. Because I have played it. Yeah, I feel you. You're right, you're right. And I haven't played the the beta because you have. Yeah, you're so right. what's your worst pick? Or your least? My worst pick, I would say, would have to be... I would say Skull and Bones. I honestly agree. You made a valid point on that. Or actually, Dragon's Dogma, then Skull and Bones. Dragon Dogma 2. You know, it's, I know it's a good game, but yeah, I'm not anticipating it because I haven't beaten the first. Yeah. So I don't know. I, even though I don't know what to expect, I know what to expect with the videos. I did play part one, and I didn't continue and beat it, so that's why I don't really care much. But I know it's it's one of those AAA titles. I feel All you. right, so Skull and Bones next. Mm-hmm. And you'd say Stalker's higher than Skull and Bones? Uh, Stalker's, yeah, yeah. Stalker, like, I, I'm curious. Oh. Bro. I'm curious. To, the, the, see, the real curiosity with Stalker's, I'm trying to see if the, many, the, the, the directors of the game and the makers of the game are actually just trying to hit a lick off the old name. Are they really involved? In... <laughs> <laughs> you wouldn't see if we're anticipating a fucking full-on bank robbery on this plate. You wouldn't see it. Now that Russia's in war and Ukraine's in war and, and freaking all this crazy shit, you know what I'm saying? I'm curious to see. These guys are 1,000% uh, trying to head a look on us uh, and go buy I'm some not, new nuclear warheads for Russia. Bro. I, don't, I won't talk politics, man. <laughs> it was just a joke, yeah, bro. Uh, I know. Oh, bro, I remember how you're long free, ago I hate stalker? Share. I don't, huh? I don't mind. You're free to share whatever you want. You no, no, I was just joking, bro. It was nothing political. It was supposed to be yeah. a joke, bro. Remember that game, how long the original stalker was in freaking uh, production? Bro, that game, we waited yeah. like freaking 10 years, bro. Every day we used to go to Najar's basement, watch videos. I was like, bro, when's this game and coming out? You know what? When it did come out, it was not the game I thought it was with the trailers. What do you mean? It was like this big open world game yeah, where yeah, you had to loot right. and it was, it, had, it was overcomplicated for me. It least. was. It was. That's exactly how I felt about it at the time. Yeah. Bro, because you had to pick slots. I had like a Resident Evil style selecting weapons in your inventory. You know what I'm saying? I you know that game is actually that, but... labeled survival. You know that? Oh, the game yeah, is the actually... inventory. That's what you mean, yeah. Oh, it is? Yeah, the original yeah it's survival. like a survival not, game. Not the newer survival where you got to eat, drink water. Exactly. You're comes. right. You're right. No, no, you're right. Not yeah. like that, but you know what I'm saying. So is that your weakest link out of these? I'd say. Okay, now I gotta ask you, is Alone in the Dark, is that the remake of Part 1, or...? See, the, the thing with Silent, with Alone in the Dark, who's, it's kind of evolved over time, bro. They really changed it up. But there is, is the, See, uh, uh, what do you call it, a Lovecraftian kind of theme in the background. It doesn't look like the shooter we played on 360. It looks more it like doesn't, exploring. It doesn't, this game is more like a, like survival horror, kind of. Yeah, if it's, it's like gonna a have walking... elements. It's going to have elements like the Puzzles other one. Puzzles, and w if it's more walking and just running away, oh, here is shooting, but it does look kind of stale, honestly. But I know, I, like, I am... see who's the era of video games has changed drastically, bro. I'm curious to see what they do with this game. Right now, who's, we're just looking for something to save us in video gaming, bro. Everything was a flaw. Even marketing, the way they market games, who's like, I didn't see Ellen Wake coming out anywhere, like, Literally, remember how long it took before they announced Alan Wake, and then when it came out finally, they literally yeah. told me about it, showed no trailers, there was nothing. It was you really good. Have you had a chance to play it? Yeah. I know it was really, I haven't even had a chance to play it. it was, I'm about to beat Starfield. I got almost 120 hours in Starfield. I'm about to but, beat it. But it you looked reimagining, so it's not exactly like the original. <clears throat> so. I know, that's what I'm telling you. That's what I'm saying. It's, it's completely different. So would you pick that as number seven? Like, or... remember how the, the, the Alone in the Dark we played and the original one we used to play on, on Sega Dreamcast back in the days? Remember that? Yeah, I remember watching you play those. I didn't play those. so Those games what... were really good. They had really good graphics back then. I was always surprised by it, honestly. So, should we pick it as 7 or as 7? Uh, we... I mean... Yeah, you can leave it at 7. Alright, I agree with that. Um... This is a. It's getting harder and harder. 
It is. Okay, so we got. Them. Oh man, Sun was uh, Saga. I'd say would be probably my top three, top four. Okay, about I really like. I like Star Wars. Uh, for me, the weakest one is Vampire. But... Yeah, I agree. Vampires. Okay. Top five. Okay, let me call something out. Um, or do you want to do a call out? Uh for number five. Yeah. Rise of the Ronin. I'd oh say, man, I you're really reading my mind. <laughs> well, uh huh. The reason is because I, I, you're right. It looks like that uh, other Sony exclusive. Ghost of uh, Tsushima. Ghost of Tsushima. Yeah, I, I beat it. I enjoyed it. So that's why I'm not really looking for another type of game like that mm. in that genre. But I really want to play it. I still haven't had a chance to beat Ghost of Tsushima. Oh, you should. You'll, you'll really I'm waiting it. for it to come out on PC to play it. Yeah, so who is making Rise of Ronin? It's a PlayStation company. I can't remember. I think it was the, the Ninja 9 or whatever that company oh, called. Oh, man. Ninja. Yeah, yeah. Okay, Team Ninja. my anticipation. The guys that made the original uh, Ninja, Ninja Gaiden. Gaiden. Oh, man. Okay, now I'm more anticipated you know I'm than Ghost of Tsushima on that. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> hey, man, I'm sorry. I remember I wanna... the Ninja Gaiden back in the days. It was one of the baddest games ever made, bro. <laughs> I just don't know how they fell off. They just made a remake and then just like, oh, forget the whole saga. Yeah. You oh, know yeah. what I'm saying? You know what? It's a it's a perfect spot because they fell off with Ninja Gaiden three and then the next one after that was cartoony. I I don't even remember its name. Me either. So it's both. at a good spot. So top four. What is your weakest pick? I think Star Wars uh Outlaws because bro, we played so many Star Wars right after <sighs> each other, bro. And I've kind of yeah. I won't lie, after playing Starfield, it's very tough for any star spaceship game to beat that game. Do you know what I'm saying? The thing is, it is Ubisoft, and they do make great open world games. Like, look at this. It's just a lot of their quests are repetitive. That's what I'm saying. Uh, That's I what I'm saying. Know. Even for the Star Wars games, bro, they got really annoying. You just want to beat the story. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. There's only so much they can show you in the Star Wars you, world, bro. It's you know, boring. There's really nothing impressive, you know? They, yeah, she's not holding a lightsaber, so eventually probably she'll get one, but... No, uh, you can customize it. Who's you didn't see how you can customize your stars, your oh, lightsaber. You do get a lightsaber, right? Oh, you get lightsabers. You can turn them into guns. You can do whatever you want with it. Oh, okay, that's awesome. See, I didn't. But even we've already seen that. Shit, bro. We played a really good Star Wars game. Who's that game? Fucking no. Uh, what's Force it called? Force Unleashed or? Yeah, uh, Force Jedi. Un no, Force Jedi Force Survivor. You yeah, Jedi yeah, Survivor yeah. and all them, bro. They're they're good, bro. They're but, you know, like yeah. they, you but, know, no, like. For me, I'd I'd probably say it's I take it over. You know, I really like Avowed. I take it over Sense Sensu Saga because that's then more of saga? a linear game. And then yeah, I, I agree. I mean, you like can that. say that. You can say that. But that's no. fair enough. Put Sun was mm -hmm. at number four. Star Wars at number three. Then Avowed and Black Myth, or vice versa. That's agreeable. You know, I agree with this, and the reason I won't put Star Wars over Black Myth is because you guys both have it on your top list. So, obviously, mm -hmm. I'm not seeing something that you guys are seeing. It's obviously going to be a great look. Bro, it's game. been in production for a very long time, and honestly, watch the watch the boss fights, because the boss fights were really impressive. The graphics look amazing. And, and that's what I'm saying. Did you see it? Like, there's... There... The blur effects and the graphics and the implementation of the 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 way the the combat is and how you block it reminds me kind of like Dark Souls but like a like a what do you call it? It's really good, bro. This it's a really a, good game, it's a, and it's very it's highly over, anticipated. Though, right? We're not the only pr people. This is a Chinese company that's putting a lot of effort in this game. Who's you know what I'm saying? Oh, okay. Yeah, you call. All right, yeah. I mean, I, I don't. You know, I'm mind curious it. to see them. Well, they failed with electric cars and everything else, and, and semiconductors. I want to see how do, good they do video games. Yeah. Well, it just reminds um, me so much of Dark Messiah. I really want to play so this. Good. This is number one. It has to be number one, in my opinion. It, bro, you, you know how long this game's been in production for? Who's? It looks so good. The visuals look good. You know, it looks kind of like uh, it reminds me of 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 a Skyrim. 
with a little bit more animations, you know, a lot more color but, there too. The color scheme isn't just gray and, and black, you know what yeah, I'm saying? You you're right about the Dark Messiah comparison when I was looking at that screenshot right now that you remember Dark Messiah of... was beautiful, bro. Remember how you're sick right, that game absolutely. was? You cut a rope, the guys fall off the bridge. Remember how crazy that was? Bro, the game was groundbreaking. You know when you're when they're chasing yeah. after you, you shoot ice on the floor, they all slip and it fall was off amazing. the bridge. I don't, I don't oh, know how why they never was made that? That was more. revolutionary. That was just crazy. And, they, and remember that the so, remember it used the source engine too, who's, yep. which amplified the physics a million times better. They're they're still making great games. Dishonored one and two. Didn't you tell me they're one of your favorites? And then uh, yeah, yeah, I beat Dishonored. They're very good games. Who's, it's yeah. just like bro, their games even as many as they make, they're always entertaining. Even Deathloop, who's Deathloop uses the same engine. FYI, you know that, right? Oh man, Deathloop, I really enjoyed. Deathloop yeah. was crazy. It was something it was new. Amazing, yeah. It was so entertaining. Like even the 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 riddles it gives you are crazy. Yeah, it's, it's I... just annoying when people invade your game. Remember how annoying it is when people oh, invade yeah. your game? <laughs> it was, yeah. bro. You that's just replay. so annoying, man. But bro, literally, I got so good at it. Was I just murk everybody? I, I would take them literally out. murking everybody, huh? Yeah, I would take them out a lot of times. Bro, I like just take them out instantly, right away. It became so easy. I got, I did side missions and I got so powerful in that game. Yeah. Exactly. That's what I was. That's all I did was side missions and the riddles. Now they have those riddles and shit you gotta solve. Yeah, and you find them uh, in hidden houses. Like yeah, you, you follow what it, the clues it gives the you. The craziest mission was storming that castle with all of them at once and oh, having to kill them. Wasn't that insane? Uh, was it that like shit? That house where you go through? Yeah. And it's um. Uh, damn. What do you call The roof. Fun, you fun go house. through the roof. Who's they chase yeah. you everywhere? Billions of them. The whole party comes after you to kill you. It was crazy. Yeah. It, it that was game was badass. Game. But going from where it started in the beginning, I was like, all right, what is this shit, bro? You like, bro, I didn't hear. And then when I started spending more time in the house, I had an obsession with it. I was like, bro, this game is just crazy. It's like you're warped in time. You know what I'm saying? True, true. They did an amazing job. Really, the story is what makes that game freaking crazy. It really did. And then the ending, bro, I'm like, what the hell? It was a really good game, surprisingly, bro. You it know, was... it's one of those games you pick up, even though it had the same engine. I don't know. I liked it, bro. It was good. It was really good, yeah. It makes me want to go play Dishonored 1 and 2. It reminds me of them. controlling rats and Dishonored and stuff. Remember that stuff? Oh, I, I haven't beaten those games. That's why it makes me want to play. What? You haven't... <laughs> yeah. Bro, uh, Dishonored's be been so long. You know how it's long on my last backlog. I played? Huh? It's on my backlog. I, I will get to it. Okay, so what's what's number two? What's number one? Do you agree with me, Black Myth 2, Avowed number one? We can do that. We can do that. That's agreeable. You know, people don't understand, uh, shit, small. Wait, who was Avowed by what studio again? Uh, Bethesda, Obsidian. right? Obsidian, who made Fallout Obsidian. New Vegas. Yeah, yeah, you're right, you're right. I always get them In mixed outer, up. Outer Worlds or something? Yeah, that's the Fallout type. Outer Outer Worlds, I didn't like that much, man, honestly. It was like that. a knockoff. It felt like a knockoff of Fallout, you know that? Yeah, it was, but yeah, I still enjoyed it. That's why. It was like a Dollar Tree version. It was just like a knockoff. <laughs> oh, no, not that bad. Come on. You know what I'm saying? That I didn't like good. it. I, I Dialogue agree. and the story. Oh, your ship crashed here. Oh, okay. But then everybody can travel everywhere else. You know what I'm saying? It was just weird, bro. And and you know the 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 stories, the way they do the dialogue, it doesn't connect very well. Some of the decisions you make, you never really develop any kind of attachment to any character. You never really like anybody. You never come up with your own opinions. You know, I did something that pissed some people off. Who's everywhere I go, they kept trying to kill me. <laughs> you know that. You, that's what you know what I did right in the game. beginning. I killed the uh, the main guy uh, in that first village, and then the whole yeah. village attacked. Me. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. That's what the <laughs> fuck happened to me, bro. I was like, bro, I can't go anywhere. That who's done the whole game everywhere I went, just everybody just started yeah, killing me. Yeah, I I regretted doing that because you miss out on uh, one of the followers you can get for your ship. And, Look, uh, fuck them and their followers. I, I didn't even care about anybody in that game. That bro, everybody's stop, annoying. Though. But I did uh, beat it. That made me stop going oh, for all the let's cheap. go to the ship, bro. Get the fuck out of here, bro. Get the fuck <laughs> no, out of here. It, it reminded me of Mass Effect. That's why I liked it. Recruiting people. Bro, I did not like it ship. at all, man. I don't know why. You got to understand, Mass yeah. Effect was much more futuristic. This game just feels like it's like old school, it, bro. No, it you was, know what I'm saying? It had some futuristic to it. You know what I'm or saying? Something. I'm in the future. Why am I here collecting pop cans? You know, these guys can go to different galaxies. I'm here <laughs> collecting pop cans and, and, and you what, know what I'm saying? The currency? And, and a cube of cheese off a table. You know what I'm saying? Like Fallout, when you think of Fallout, you're a survivor. You're surviving in the wild. You understand what I'm saying? 
The game is just discombobulated. Uh, it's all over the place. I'll, I'll respectfully disagree because I enjoyed it, but I didn't play the DLC. I don't know, so. bro. But you get you get my point of view, bro. I like do, what I'm I, trying to talk about. The, the, you know, it's not like I'm just hating on the game for no, no reason. No, I know. The atmosphere is just not believable, bro. Do you know what I'm saying? It's definitely though a good alternative to Fallout for or fans of Fallout should definitely play it. Bro, it's like you the PG version of and Fallout. There, Literally, there, there's a sequel coming out, so it was successful. I know, I did see. I mean, yeah, but I don't know who's. I just could never get into that game because bro, Fallout was so violent. You know, Fallout's a different animal. Who's? You know what I'm saying? Uh, yeah, I agree, but not with... Well, Fallout 76 is getting better, but I still don't like that game. Bro, it took them 25 years to make that game better. <laughs> they should have just gave up. They sunk half of the company. Uh, I'm gonna drop a big, uh... Uh, bomb on you here. Uh, I didn't beat Fallout... I didn't even play Fallout 4 yet. What?! <laughs> Who's are you fucking serious? And I, and I didn't even beat Fallout New Vegas. Oh, lose some fucking signing golf, man. Fuck you, <laughs> right. bro. You seriously yeah. didn't beat Fallout Four, who's? I haven't even played it, bro. Played that game, it. I had an obsession with that game, who's? I had a fucking. I, ob- I had to. I, I had to get brain damage to forget that fucking game from how good it was, bro. Damn, bro. And look how long I they're did. making us wait for the new Fallout. Oh my god, bro. So Fallout Four play. was just ridiculous. I love Fallout. Here's 4. Here's my man. problem. I started New Vegas and I got through the whole like I didn't get far through the beginning. Opened up some more of the map and then I bought all the DLCs. I'm like, okay, I'm gonna play through all the DLCs too. And then I just stopped. I don't know. And then when Fallout 4 came out, um, I'm like, I didn't beat New Vegas yet, so I'm not even going to start it till I go back and beat um, New Vegas. Bro, Fallout so 4 was just 4. crazy. Like, I, it's been so long. Who's 2015, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 20, 20, 20, 24? It's almost been 10 fucking years. Was, that's crazy, bro. Yeah. I'll get to it. I eventually. remember I used to, I bought this game stolen off this guy, Jaber, bro. He used to steal from the red box. <laughs> Admitting to a crime. <laughs> I didn't know that shit back then. I didn't know that shit back then, bro. This game is the sickest game ever, who's man. Like I forgot what the story was in this one. This is the one where you're you unfreeze, right? You unfreeze your dad or whatever. They fall out wait what are you talking about? Which game? In Fallout Four. Oh, I didn't play it. I don't know the story. Three was about his dad. You gotta find his dad and then it was a good man. Game. This game was just amazing. I love Fallout, man. Yeah. Man, it's been so long. Let's look at the graphics. They're terrible, bro. We really used yeah. to play these graphics. People, this is you, insane. People were always mad at Bethesda waiting for them to upgrade their engine, and they finally did it with Starfield. And they even upgraded it again later uh, with the patch. Bro, Starfield this is just ridiculous. The graphics on that game? Oh my god. Yeah, they bro. updated them with a the new patch. They made them look way better now. Who's? When I how can it, somebody least. even do anything that crazy, man? I was surprised about how good those graphics are. Some of the planets, yeah, yeah they look weird and cartoonish, kind of. But bro, the physics just compensate for everything. It's ridiculous in that game. You know that, right? Did you? You played everything. I, you played, played it on PC, it. didn't you? Yeah. You looked, played it on PC. I played it before the patch, though. It didn't look as good as it does now. Who's? I play it on 4K, maxed out, I did shadowy play on 4K. everything. Bro, it's insane, man. Even the space. Like, one thing they really nailed and knocked out of the ballpark is flying the spaceships in the combat, bro. It's amazing. And they included the bat system. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. We'll we'll, we'll have to talk about it on a different episode. For sure, yeah. We're, almost, at, I... we're almost to 3 a.m. right now. Well, uh uh-huh. Yeah, so our number one pick was Avowed. That's the winner. Most anticipated game for DG. It's official. It's in the I... book. Bro, hey, that game's gonna be insane, so I cannot wait, bro. Same here. Alright, um, any last, uh, comments? That's it for now. Alright, DG. Looking good, looking clean and shaved down very well. (laughs) That terrible list. (laughs) DG podcast out. (laughs) 